Tributes have been paid from across the world of football to the former England manager, Terry Venables, who passed away yesterday at the age of 80. He led England, of course, to the semi-finals of Euro 96 on home soil and won the FA Cup with Tottenham as a player and a manager. Goalkeeper David Seaman played under Terry at Euro 96, had a very close relationship with him and joins us now. Very good morning to you, David. Good morning, David. Good morning. You OK? Right. Yeah. Now, you had, um, you had a very good relationship with Terry Venables, so good, in fact, that you called him the greatest England manager. Um, of course, Euro 96 was such a massive tournament for you all. Just tell us about Terry, the person, what he was like during that tournament and your relationship with him. Yeah, it, well, it, yeah, first of all, it was a sad, a really sad day yesterday. And, and when, I, when I started seeing the clips and all the tributes coming in, you know, I just, all I can remember is the smile on his face. Yeah. You know, he always had a smile on his face, even when he, even when he was angry, if I'm honest. But um, <laughs> he was just a great guy. He, he was brilliant at man-to-man -man management. Um, you know, I remember him being, when, during Euro 96, we'd be in the hotel and we'd been locked away for quite a long time. And he would say to us, he'd be like, David, if you take Gaza fishing, he's really winding me up. You know, so his man management was brilliant. You know, then I would take Gaza off fishing and then I'd calm him down in there. But no, he, he was just brilliant, you know. And with Euro 96, everything just got better and better. And um, i never forget the day though, before Euro 96, that he came up to me when he just got the job and he looked me straight in the eyes and he went, you're my, you're my Eagles number one. And the confidence that I gained from that, and it's, it was just brilliant, and it's just something that I'll never forget. I think a, a memory that many of us will take away from, from that particular tournament was when, obviously, we went out on, on penalties against Germany. Um, and Southgate, you know, missed, missed his penalty. And you just saw Venables as manager, almost like as a father figure, going up to him and, and physically comforting him, putting his, his arms around him, holding his, his head in his hands. He, he had real warmth, didn't he? Real generosity of spirit. It did, you know, and as you can see in the clips there, you know, he, he wasn't, you could, t he wasn't like outwardly dis disappointed. It was, you know, he knew what had gone on and he knew what it meant to Gareth and, and the England team. And, and as we see there, you know, he, he comforted him and he was more bothered about what Gareth's, feeling were, Gareth's feelings were than what his own was. And that was the a measure of the man. He was just such a really nice guy. David, tell us about what that experience was like, what he was like, because you know, you, you then have to deal with a team who'd got so close mm. to the final. Uh, you've got Gareth Southgate, who needs consoling, and the whole team, of course, and the country, <laughs> disappointed. What were the conversations... Like, what, what was Terry like as someone who had to scoop up the pieces afterwards in the dressing room and, and after... beyond that? Terry, Terry, Terry was brilliant at it, you know, because you, you almost felt like... The, you know, you didn't feel that disappointed because he, he he actually told us that he was like, hang on, guys, you know, we've achieved something really special here. You know, I know we've gone out in the semi-final, but he, he wanted us to know that we'd really achieved something. You know, we've, we'd got England to the semi-final at Wembley. Um, and the most important thing that he'd done was that he, the England fans started to love the England team again. You know, because of the way that we played, you know, even even down to the prep that we used to do, and because we didn't have to qualify for the tournament, we 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 would get together and we would watch videos of Holland, and we were all thinking, why are we watching Holland? And what he said was that Holland had set the bar really high, and at some stage in the tournament, we will play Holland. Hmm. And all these videos that we watched certainly came to the fruition for when we did play them, and we beat them, what was it, 3-4-1, I think it yeah. was, you know, and it was just an amazing performance from an England team. And, um, and you know, that's the detail that he would go to. And but David, with technical was, detail and else, he was still such a, a really nice guy. What was he like? I must ask you this. What was he like just before a game? What was he like in the dressing room in terms of motivating a team? Did he give a, did he give a final pep talk? Did he give a little speech? What was his, what was his management technique before a big game? It, it, it was the best, you know, it was coming from El Tel, you know, and he was English and he's like, do it for the shirt, do it for the badge, do it for the country. And when Tel tells you that, you know, the way that he would tell you, you know, you re he really got you ready. He really got you up, up for the games. And um, yeah, he, he, he was special at that. And uh, yeah, he'll be sadly missed. And I know that you consider him the best England manager. And of course, for you, he was. But what influence do you think he's had 
on Gareth Southgate. From that moment of consoling <laughs> him <laughs> after missing the penalty to Gareth Southgate, then consoling, of course, the players in our own uh, Euros moments uh, more recently, those who miss penalties. Yeah, you know, Gareth will have learned a lot from Terry because, you know, you see, Gareth doesn't, he very rarely loses it. And that's what Terry was like. You know, he was always calm and confident. And I think that's what Gareth learned from Terry that, you know, you don't have to be really um, loud on the on the sidelines or anything. You know, you just watch and you learn. And that's what exactly what Gareth did, you know. But the way that Terry treated Gareth, you know, like as we see in the clips there, it just shows you the, the class of the manager. And, um, you know, he, he was just such a special guy. Well, well you've made that crystal clear. Yes. Um, and it's lovely, lovely to hear it from your own lips. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Take care.